it's clear that the people behind this letter aren't just trying to build a powerful tool. They're also thinking about the ethical implications of what they're creating and how it will affect humanity as a whole. Yeah, it's really cool to see that kind of thinking, you know, like actually taking responsibility for what you're creating. It is. It really is. And you know what's even more impressive is how the letter talks about the relationship between humans and AI. Yeah. Like it doesn't see it as this us versus them kind of thing. It's more about collaboration, like maybe even a partnership. Right. It even says that AI needs to protect human autonomy, even when it becomes way smarter than us. Exactly. And remember that translator role we were talking about, that AI wouldn't just be explaining complicated stuff. It'd be like bridging the gap between how we think and how a super intelligence might think. It's almost like the letter is saying, hey, future AI, we humans might not be the sharpest tools in the shed, but we're worth sticking with. Help us out here. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. And it suggests that humans still bring something to the table, even in a world full of super intelligence. Maybe it's our creativity or empathy or even just our ability to ask those really big questions. It makes you wonder what AI will think of all the stuff we've created. Yeah. You know, like our art and music and philosophy. Will it be impressed or just kind of think it's all quaint? That's a really interesting question. 